a turn for the worst down here. G got it in down low, missed the shot, no good. Already an offensive board to dunk by Cunningham here. Wow. Stay. G missed the turnaround shot. Cunningham, the first possession, got it, jammed it in. He with Henson drives, kicks it back. Cunningham open. They'll let him have that 16-footer. Mr. Cunningham has taken a high percentage shot when he flushed it in and then hits the jump shot. Right side to Gregory. G got to come set a ball screen. Gregory will feed it back to G, roll it off. Nice spin move with the left hand. Telling you for a seven-footer, he does that. The guy his size, he, he moves nimbly. Malcolm, a nice little fake off the pass. Drive, stops, pops, hits it. Jacksonville State leads 9-7. Six pointer around off the front rim, no good. Cunningham tipped it out, kept it alive, and G with a hook shot with the left hand. He's a right-hander by nature, but he put it down with a left-handed hook again. Seven out of 12 from the field. G up top three, got it. Boy, he spotted up. Stood right there ahead of the circle. Nobody came out on him, and he drilled it. That'll back outside, did get it. Drum right to the corner, Dunlap a catch. Yes, and one coming. He knocked down the three and a chance at the four-point play. Maurice Dunlap cuts it back to a one-point game and a timeout here. The under-12 timeout coming, 18. Out of Burnell, back to the basket, right perimeter. Bangs in to Harris, bangs in. Going to turn, went between two guys, banked at home and drew the foul. Wow. Some strength there from Burnell. Another terrific move. Harris and Cooper doubled him. He got between, split the double team. He got right, goes to his left. Now he'll feed Burnell. He'll shoot a three. Got it. Burnell spot up three, knocks it down. With the smaller guy, King, trying to ride his back. G backs it in, going to turn, go to the bank shot. That one-handed jumper with a banker. And the bank open in Jacksonville, Alabama. So Malcolm gave it to Giga. Right side to Gregory now it'll go. Jamal finds a lane to the basket. Oh, my! He rises up and thunders one home. And now Keith Patterson saying something to Malcolm and Jamin Henson. Hain Henson, left side Cooper, a dribble, a drive, and Cunningham got up. Boy, he took the stairs to the top floor, his 30th block of the season. First, he'll dribble left side all the way to the basket to G. Banked it up. No good, and Cunningham with a one-handed jam, his second finish. I'm telling you, can he get up in a hurry? Tyreek. Drove, fed Giga, missed the shot. Nobody there to box out Cunningham. And Hicks, boy, he got away with a hesitation move. And Christian says, get that junk out of here as he swatted that one. Drum right, nice crossover, going to drive, stop. Tyreek going inside with the left hand, the little guy. Nice body control, got up on the air and laid it up and in. Tom Gregory, he'll drive, stop, elbow jumper. Got that one to Gregory. Maybe that'll get Jamal going here. That's only his second bucket. He's too Tyreek. He will drive, kick it out to the corner. Gregory, he'll drive, get inside. Stepped around the defender, banked it up and in. And again, Cox cut it back to five at 43-38. What it was for, we have to find out what James Hicks called there. We get a timeout with 15.32 to go. To them. G up top, did shoot the three. Started to drive, didn't he? He'll feed Malcolm, he'll shoot a three. Got it, thank you very much. Finally, Malcolm knocks one down and cuts it to two. Oh, Malcolm hits the three, he's got five points. 43-41 and a steal. Gregory the steal to Burnell for the flush to the finish. And we are tied at 43. Timeout. Jamal Gregory trying to get the crowd into it here. Back-to-back -back turnovers and a timeout for Preston Spradlin and Moorhead State. Gregory the steal, Burnell the finish. And the Gamecocks have come, to, uh, come from nine down to tie it up. A 10-0 run in the last. The Mississippi State original signee ahead with a rock. He'll drive it, kick it left side. He'll go to Burnell, goes baseline. Yes, nice soft show. A floater got it. Jason in double figures with 11. He's it left side to Marlin. Hunter behind the ball screen, back to G. Jump shot short. Hunter the follow got it to go down. That is his first bucket of the day for Marlin Hunter. Maybe ball. Oh, they miss Cunningham. They get it in to Dunlap. Three ball in the corner. Got it. No, it's a two. Check it. It's a two. He's got it up top, left side to Mo. Bobbled it, got it down low to Giga. Backs it in, spins, and went to the right hand from the left side and banked it in to G. Key, he'll find Cunningham cutting through. He's got Dunlap. He'll turn, bank it, yes, and one. Count it, and a chance at a three-point play. He posted up the smaller guy, Walker, and turned and shot it, or uh, Hicks, I should say. And Walker from the backside, you can see him bumping him with the body there. Count the hoop, Maurice Dunlap. Now to G, top of the key, shot fake, King goes by, he'll dribble, shoot, swish. Just a step or two off the free throw line, just inside the arc. Anybody's game, we hit 
for the stretch run here. Back to the basket, got away from Harris, put it up. Yes, and one. Score it, count it, and one coming for Burnell. Oh, he muscled it up there, good. That ball rolled on the iron, sort of teased us, but it went down, and Harris, the foul call, his fourth of the day. He got him with the body. And he's out there, Giga, left side to Marlin. Gonna put it on the floor, Hunter drives off the dribble. Jumper got it, only a second hoop of the day for Marlin Hunter. Gamecocks by four, six. He'll find Malcolm cutting to the basket. Jerome Wright drives, knifes his way through, no good. Burnell, rebound and follow. A new career high for Burnell. A new career high for Burnell and Jacksonville State's biggest lead of the day. Six point game at 69, 63. Malcolm, knife through, shot wouldn't go, Burnell. A man inside, grabbed the board and put it up and in. 76-69, three and a half seconds left. Gamecocks inbound to Malcolm, he'll throw to Hunter and that'll do it. Ray Harper, Preston Spradlin exchanged pleasantries right at midcourt. 76-69, Jacksonville State beats them and stamps a four game home losing streak to the Eagles here and for the year. Jacksonville State now eight and one at home here at the friendly confines of the Pete.